Tom was on Chad. Du- Chad's yes, show. he was in studio after the game. After was, the game. After the game in studio. Okay, I got you. Tom, what did I do wrong exactly? What did you do wrong? I mean, what are we talking about? What did you do wrong? My point is that you guys don't have all the information. You don't have all. You I have don't, no you, problem with that. You okay. said I shouldn't have talked to Dusty in the no, press conference. No, I didn't. You don't have no, all the information. No, I didn't say that. What I said was I wouldn't have, if it was me, I wouldn't have right? debated Dusty in a press conference. I, okay, I, would, I heard I would Chad ta- say that you said I shouldn't have done that no, or that you no. didn't, you didn't think I, it was the right no, thing No, no, no. I give you credit for going over there and, and bringing it up at a press conference. By the way, I don't feel that Grant debated him. Grant actually could have followed up, I think, a little more viciously when Dusty essentially filibustered and didn't answer the question about moving everybody up in the order. Mm-hmm. Because what Dusty did is he just moved on and basically said, well, when Trey Turner and Jason Worth come back, then you're going to have one, right. one, two. That and way. again, Dusty might be old school where he wants his best hitter, which is Bryce Harper. Some would ar- argue Murph, but Harper is having an unbelievable year. He's probably their best hitter. They would He would rather have him in the three-hole. Right. Do you think I was disrespectful? I thought I was very respectful I, and, look, I, and showed I, good tact with him. It, it became about you. Is that right? I, I don't think it did, no. I don't think it did. Well, I, 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 I think, think I you're in denial the if you, he asked me. I think you're in denial if you, if you don't think it came, became about you. I think it did. And you, okay, you well, never I want that. I think I answered the questions he asked me. Yeah, he the, the manager me, shouldn't be asking you questions in, in a well, press conference. Well, he You tell Dusty that. <laughs> He told. He asked, "Who should be hitting second? I answered the question. I said, "You can move it. I, I would hit Anthony Rendon second. Okay, who would protect Murphy? Why don't you move them?" He's asking me a question. You've been in press conferences a lot. That's yeah. not that abnormal, by the way. Oh. Mike Shanahan would do that in every press conference when someone would question anything that he did. He would come right back at you and, and try to essentially put you in your place. And, and he and welcomed that dialogue. I understand that. And the answer is, I'm not the manager. I'm asking you. Which is essentially what I said. I said, and I quote, I don't know if you actually heard the clip. It doesn't sound like you have. I I said to him at that time, you're the manager. You're smarter than me. I'm asking for you to coach me up and give me information on this. I said those words. Okay. Again, but, I mean, we're talking about your performance right now at the press conference. In part, the story has become about you guys. Uh, right, but I don't. I, I didn't ask for that, and I don't think I did anything to warrant that. I don't know why it has. I mean, I, I don't think it's become that way in baseball circles, has it? What What's baseball circles? What does that mean? Well, Jeff Passan, a national writer today, was was talking about this. He didn't mention me. F.P. Santangelo on the broadcast last night was talking about this. He didn't mention me. Dan Steinberg, who critiques the media in town, is the only guy I've seen that's written my name anywhere. Other than the guy who writes stories about how the media covers things, the telecasts, the, the, the radio, I don't think anybody's mentioned my name necessarily. Our radio station is. Uh, I work there, I guess. I mean, I don't think that anyone else seems to really care w- whether or not my name came up or not. And I, I, But, again, I actually think you, you are largely correct on this. The press conference was not the best place to do that. I think I was put in a bad situation. But the idea that I should have done something differently, I'll disagree with you on. So I should have gone to the press conference. Asked him a question I already knew the answer to, which was, are you thinking about moving Anthony Rendon up? His answer was, who should I hit second? And then I should have just said, well, oh, that's up to you, Dusty. And that would have somehow benefited anybody. I, I don't know why I would have done that. Well, I don't know how this benefited anybody at this point, except except maybe you. Oh, geez. <laughs> Tom was, he was Rick. Tom, yeah, they're, they're going back and forth. It's it's a good radio debate. Hey, it benefited us because I like to radio play it. Insider. Certainly. <laughs> but I'll just defend Grant in this way. So Grant did say when he we had him on the show yesterday, he, he did say that he tried to go through, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, he tried to go through Nat's PR to get a right. one-on-one with, with Dusty. He, like yeah, a five and, minute, and Grant, and Grant explained that. Himself. And they're not going to give him that access right. to Dusty. So the only way to get his question in there was to go to the press That's conference. That's his only yeah. forum and to and do then, it. Uh, correct? And I, I, I don't think... Grant realizes that that it's the bitterness that like Dusty had, and then I guess what Tom is having is that Grant Grant's questioning kind of came off as condescending towards the manager of a team mm-hmm. who has a number one off, uh, offense in the MLB. True, but I will defend Grant with he really wasn't inserting himself in the story. Now, we in the radio have fun 
bringing it up. Like, I disagree with Tom Lavero's point that Grant was making it all about him. Grant went there and asked a question. Then Dusty says, well, what would you do? So he answered. Mm-hmm. That's what I would have I would have answered, right. too. He's not making it about him. There was a now, you know, if you want to make some, like, meta argument that Grant knew that it would end up that way, well, maybe so, but I don't think that's the case. I think that he just went over there to ask the question because they have talked about it a lot on their show. Yeah. Tom got bitter. Tom did. Hey, look, it's Grant. <laughs> now, Tom did have a good response when he said, well, you could answer, I'm not the manager, tell me what you would do. So you well, could. Grant said he probably should have said it that way. Right. All right. But he, t- he didn't purposely you know, try and make this a huge story outside of the one question. He wasn't. That wasn't his intention. The only way to get that answer out of Dusty was to go to that daily press conference. Now, Grant may be wrong on the deal. Who knows? It's his opinion. If Grant was managing the Nats, Rendon would be hitting two. 